We're going to complete an orthographic drawing and we're going to use a Rubik's Cube as an example. Now you probably know that a Rubik's Cube looks like this and what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing a baseline and an elevation and then use that to project up and draw a plan view of the Rubik's Cube. Following that we're going to use a 45 degree line that we can use construction lines which will enable us to draw an end elevation as you can see here on the right and then we'll use exactly the same technique to use construction lines and enable us to draw an end elevation on the left as you can see. Right, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your ruler and measure up from the bottom of the page 80 millimeters and put a light construction mark as you can see. Now take your T-square and project a light construction line horizontally across the page like this. Use your ruler to measure across from the left hand side of the page 180 millimeters and just put a mark. Now again with your ruler you're going to measure along a further 60 millimeters and put another mark. Using your T-square and your set square project a light construction line vertically above those two marks as shown. Again take your ruler and measure up from the baseline 60 millimeters and put a mark. Now using your T-square project a light construction line horizontally across as shown. Now take your ruler and measure up from the baseline 20 millimeters and put a mark and then a further 20 millimeters to the 40 millimeter point and put another mark. Now using your T-square project light construction lines across as shown here. Now we're going to use a technique in order to split this up into the nine squares. So take your T-square and your 45 degree set square and draw a line from the bottom left hand corner to the top right hand corner as shown. Now again using your T-square with your set square this time you're going to draw a vertical line as shown through that intersection and again through this intersection where that 45 degree line cuts through the horizontal line. Now we've finished constructing the view we can outline it as shown here. Now we're going to draw the view looking from above in this direction. This top view is called the plan. First thing we're going to do to draw the plan is we're going to take our T-square and our set-square and project up from the right hand side of the elevation and the left hand side as shown here. Now we need a space between the views so take your ruler and measure up from the top of the elevation 60 millimeters and put a mark. Now with your T-square project a light construction line across as shown. Now this view at the top, because it's a cube, will be the same, which is 60 millimeters from that first line. And again, using your T-square, project across a light construction line like this. In the same way as we did before, we'll take our ruler and measure up 20 millimeters and put a mark and then up a further 20 to the 40 millimeter measurement and put another mark. And again, using your T-square project across on those two marks. Now this time to get the vertical lines on this view what we can do is simply use the elevation and project up from the two lines that we want to repeat on the plan. And as you can see now we've constructed the plan what we can do is outline it as shown here. Right, now we're ready to draw a view looking from the side. So the right hand side view is going to be called the end elevation. So the first thing that you're going to do here is take your T-square and project the height from the elevation across as shown. Now, using your T-square and your 
45 degree set square project a line up from the top right hand corner of the elevation as you can see. We're going to use this line and we're going to take our T-square and we're going to project across from the top of the plan as shown to intersect that line and from the bottom of the plan as shown here. Now what we're going to do is take our T-square and our set square and we're going to draw down from this point all the way to the baseline as you can see here and in the same way we're going to use our T-square and our set square to project down from this line also. Now because we use the 45 degree line you'll notice that the width that we can see here on the plan is exactly the same as the width for the end elevation which for a cube is exactly what it should be. Now what we're going to do is take our T-square and project across the height here and here and using the same technique with the 45 degree line project across to it here and also here and then where those lines intersect project light construction lines down as you can see here. Now you've constructed the Rubik's cube end elevation you can outline it to separate the drawing from the construction lines. Right, now we're ready to draw the view looking from this direction here. And again, it's a side view called an end elevation. So we're gonna repeat the process. The first thing we did was used our T-square to project across, this time to the left, as you can see. And again, using our T-square with our 45 degree set square, project up from the top left-hand side of the elevation. Now, using the sizes from the plan, project to the left to intersect the 45 degree line on the top and the bottom of the plan, as you can see. And in the same way as before, use your T-square and your set square to project the lines down, as you can see here. Now again, you'll notice by using that 45 degree line, it repeats the width on the plan down to the width on the end elevation. Right, continuing as we did before, what we'll do is use our T-square and project across to get the heights, as you can see here. And in the same way, projecting across from the plan to intersect the 45 degree line. And using your T-square and your set square to project down to complete the constructed end elevation view. Now you can complete the end elevation by darkening in with outlines. Right, now we're ready to name the views. So take your ruler and you're going to measure down from the bottom of the elevation, 10 millimeters and put a mark, and a further five millimeters and another light construction mark. Now take your T-square and project a light construction line horizontally across under the elevation. And you're going to use these two light lines to guide the block capital letters when you write elevation under the view. Now, we can see that this is the colors of a Rubik's Cube. And so what you're going to do is just color that front view in a nice flat blue color. Now we're going to name the top view. So again, take your ruler and measuring down from the bottom of that top view, as you can see, 10 millimeters and put a mark and then a further five millimeters and another mark. And in the same way as before, take your T-square and project a light construction line horizontally across from those two marks. And the name of this view, of course, is the plan. Now, as you can see from the 3D picture as well, the plan is red, so we'll get a nice flat red color on this view. Now, we're going to do the end elevation to the right. Now, we don't need to measure this because we can use the lines that we measured from elevation and project across here at the top and here at the bottom. And in between these lines and block capital letters, we write end elevation. And as you can see, this view is going to be yellow. 
Now we can use the same technique to project across to the left on the top and the bottom line. And again, this view is also called the end elevation and this view is green. Now what we're going to do is add something called plane separation lines. We'll see exactly what that means shortly. But first of all, take your ruler and measure down from the plan 30 millimeters and put a mark. Now using your T-square, project a light line starting at 145 degree line and finishing at the other as shown. Now with your T-square and your set square, project down from the 45 degree line here and here. On these three lines that we've just added, we're going to put a special line pattern that looks like this. Long dash followed by two short dashes, long dash followed by two short dashes, as you can see here. We're going to do the same on the two vertical lines. So again, long dash, two short dashes, long dash, two short dashes, long dash, as you can see, and the same on the left-hand vertical line too. Okay, so what do these lines represent? They, they show us the different planes that the views are drawn on. So the elevation, for instance, is drawn on what we mark as VP, which stands for vertical plane. Let's take a look at that, what that means. So in this 3D version of the Rubik's Cube, we're going to add a vertical plane in front of the blue surface, as you can see here. And when we project onto it or look through that plane, we see that blue surface of the Rubik's Cube straight on. Right, now to the right hand side on the elevation, we're going to also call that VP, but VP1. Now again, you can see that the vertical plane 1, when we project onto it or look through it, we see what we've drawn. Now to the left hand side, it's exactly the same, but we need to call that VP2. And when we look at the drawing, again, the vertical plane is at a different angle, which is why it's got a different name. And when we project onto it or look through it, that's exactly what we see is what we've drawn. Now, the plan is actually on something called the HP or the horizontal plane. So we can see that this plane to look through it is the horizontal plane. And when we project onto it, it's exactly what we've shown in our orthographic drawing. Now we're going to add a title block. So we're going to focus in on the bottom left hand side of the page. So take your ruler and put the zero on the bottom of the page and measure up five millimeters and put a mark, a further five to the 10, put a mark, a further five to the 15, put a mark, and a final five to the 20 millimeters and put another mark. So you should be left with four marks as you can see here. Now take your T-square and project light construction lines across the page as shown. Again, you're gonna take your ruler and this time you're going to measure in from the left-hand side of the page, five millimeters and put another mark as shown here. And using your T-square and your set square, just project down a light construction line joining those four lines, as you can see here. Right, now let's focus on the bottom right-hand side of the page. So again, take your ruler and measure in five millimeters from the right-hand side and put a mark. And in the same way, using your T-square and your set square, just project a light construction line down, joining those four lines. Now what we're going to do is, again with our ruler, we're going to measure from the 5mm line on the left in 80mm and put a mark. And using our T-square and our set square, just project a light construction line joining those four lines. And in the same way, Using our ruler, we're going to measure into the left-hand side from the five millimeter mark, 80 millimeters, put another mark. And again, using your T-square and your set square, join those four lines as shown. 
Right, now we're ready to outline the title block. So take your T-square and you're going to join with an outline the left hand 5mm mark and the right hand one as shown and at the top line and also the same on the bottom line but not those two lines in between. And what you're going to do is again with your T-square and your set square you're going to draw an outline between the four vertical lines that you constructed on the title block. Now what we're going to write in the title block first of all is your name on the left hand side, the title of the drawing which is Rubik's Cube orthographic in the middle and finally the scale one-to-one -one of the drawing.